We're getting intimate. Intimate Internet. with a cat. I'm, uh, I'm Chaz. And I'm Dan. <laughs> Welcome to Wine of Serious Business. I think this is episode uh, 281. Who's this? Abraham. Abraham. This is little Abraham. Welcome to the show. Oscar's little brother, right? Oscar's little brother. Yeah, good deal. Um, so we're here today talking about uh, some German Riesling. Really excited. I was at uh, ENR Wine Shop, one of, one of Portland's great wine shops. Uh, lately saw these on the shelves. I'm like, oh, cool, yeah, like, let's check out some entry-level some entry level German Riesling from producers that we know about. That's okay. No, they know. They, they, they'll get screenshots of the label. Yeah. What are we going to start so, out with here? Well, so this looks like the, the Stein Blue yeah. Slate Dry Riesling from 2013. Yeah. And harvested from old vines in steep vineyards. It sounds like Germany. Oh, yeah. yeah, and if you look at the label and you hear the name Reichstein, just means stone. When I first heard about it, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is just some bullshit bulk blend. Um, sure. But I taste it, and I'm like, oh, this kind of tastes like the real thing. Read about it. This is a real, like, small producer, guy that's worked with the vineyards for a long time. Um, so, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe you thought about branding, or I guess if you're selling this, make sure people know. But, uh, but yeah, uh, interesting stuff, and I was excited to see it on the shelf. Wanted okay. to taste it again. Awesome. This at a restaurant. 12? 13. 13, yeah. So we two 13s, and then the Lauer, which will be the last wine we've tasted, is going to be a 14. So... It's like, you tell it's fresh. It's yeah. like a, it's got those like, the sulfites haven't quite blown off. Like yeah. And, 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 <laughs> and, and, and super yeah. lemony, right? Like, big time lemony, like grapefruity. It sort of like reminds me of like sort of grapefruit juice. Not ruby red, like fresh pressed grapefruit juice. Yeah. And, and right, like strong you, citrus component. 13 yeah. is a cooler year, right? Like you're definitely going to get some of that. It's, it's, too, it's got that, it's yeah, got that, yeah, that, yeah. that grapefruit technique. This is dry. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say that based on the alcohol level on the back back label, I was gonna say it's probably dry. Mm, yeah. Oh, but that tastes good. Yeah. Right. Right. It kind of hits with that lemony, oh, yeah. but the acidity kind of fades, goes to the sides, and you've got that just nice minerality, nice pure young apple fruit. Um, Actually, I don't like it that much. Oh, hater. All right. I was like, I, no. I'm sure you guys are gonna see my horrifying face. <laughs> I just made it unfortunately. No, that's all right. I like that's things. why it's good to have three people on here. Different sort of like ripe honey, crisp apple. A little bit of like grapefruit rind, like a little bit of citrus Definitely. component is sort of sticking out. Um, tastes a little bit like white grapes as well. I mean, like sometimes you get that in wine, like you can actually taste the wine grapes that's coming through a little bit here. Um, I think it's quite delicious. It's hard. It's like it, it's just the acidity just tears through everything. Like that's really all I'm getting out of it. It's like a nine I volt hate high acid. This is not too much for me. It's almost like a nine volt battery. And like I don't know, I'm, what is the alcohol in this too? Mm. It's like one, it, it's not. Yeah. 11 to 14 percent yeah, and i'm feeling a little bit more on the 14 percent in my chest right now really? so it's like really have you been drinking all day oh, it's no this is the first drink i've had all day i've oh. been drinking today i have not it's, this it's, is my first two more. i don't know why you guys gotta get on my level yeah. yeah get on my level hmm. like it smells like pretty good once the sulfites go away like it smells really good but the little taste is like okay. it's just like it, it you get acidity and then it goes flat and then it's heat then that's all i get wow okay i disagree with that yeah yeah me too but but different experience and and this is this is on the edge of like the acidity and like the, the lemon flavors Green forming. Twenty percent yeah. more, it'd be too much. But green apples, lemon lime, and yeah. then like a little bit of green melon. When you really like swish it around in your mouth and take like a strong like swallow of it. Strong. I, I like strong swallow. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it too. That was the other thing I wanted to say from the label. Yeah, the village of Bulai. Bulai. I haven't been there. I don't know where that is, but uh, you're Bulai to me. I that, find this delicious. Yes. Yeah. And at twenty dollars a bottle, I think it's fine. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, solid stuff. I'd say check it out. Um, at that price, it shows up on glass pour list from time to time. I think this is a good way to like start out the, start out the I, meal, right? I will agree with Matt. Like the acid is high here, mm -hmm. right? Like it's it's a higher acid riesling than what, what most might be used to. Yeah. Especially if you're used to more like sweeter German rieslings, this might be on the upper level of what you would experience. Yeah. Um, it's weird because it, I love sweet. I love dry riesling, so that's the thing. It's right. Like, it's same like, here. But yeah. it's just. It's not it's balanced. Too much. We have to okay. And it's young too, yeah. right? Remember right, all right. the GGs we tasted, oh. right? <laughs> <laughs> so that we could did, also we, be playing around. We, we, we did the stories. On yeah. The so yeah, we did a preview of. Uh, Don't spill this. Yeah. Germany last year, we did a we did a preview of a bunch of uh, grosses Quebec. You know, of of the next year. So this was what last year, 2014. I think they were the 13s. They were the 13s. And but they were super young, super fresh, and about. You know, out of like 30 wines, what, maybe four of them were enjoyable, uh, as they were? Four of them were enjoyable, but... Sorry, I was slapping it on the It's right. like a Zamboni needs to happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, the problem was that they were all 
the pH level, I would say, was a little under one. Uh, <laughs> because by the end of it, my teeth felt soft. <laughs> I had a headache. Yeah. My, my, my nose felt like someone had jammed like acid crystals up into it, so it was all swollen and yeah. inflamed. I, like, there was a point I didn't know your nose was inflamed. That's amazing. Where, where yeah. Dan was like, well, are you alright? I'm like, I don't know if I can continue. Like, I was seriously hurt. It was yeah. bad. It was... Yeah. So these young dry wines can be tough. Yeah. Definitely uh, definitely give it a little bit of time. So I know an exciting one here. A lot. The table's good. That's fine. That's good. Drip, drop, dripping. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Weiser Kunstler. Um, interesting story there. A new family. They, they, they came into it Kind of, kind of fresh. They wanted really? to start out. They wanted to go to the Mosul, grow wine, um, so they don't have you know 500 years of history or whatever. Like some of these other families, really sure. jumped into it, really made a name for themselves. Kind of bought some, started working with less famous vineyards. Mm -hmm. um, super nice folks. Uh, got to chat with them a couple times. They make a big range of wines. Have really done well for themselves. Good anecdote from talking with them. People are like, so is it is it kind of weird being the new people in town, or does it make it a little more difficult to do business? And, uh, and, and her response was like, well, they say you're not really a local until you've been here for seven generations. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like, yeah. nobody alive remembers when you were the new people in town. Right. <laughs> or remembers anybody that thought of you as the new people. Um, but this is, I think, just a QBA, right? 2013. Yeah, yep. yep, entry level stuff. 23 bucks. Um, you know, the single vineyard stuff's great, but this is what was on the shelf at the time. I, I don't, maybe it's my glass. I'm not a big fan of this one. Do you want to give it a try there? Give it a try I'm there. I'm going to try a different glass. Yeah. That's also the same way. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, my you, fine. Can, you can be the critical one on this show. That's fine. He won't be back next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because normally I'm not really a hater. Even the shitty stuff I usually like. Yeah, it smells like cabbage to me. No way. Like straight up, cabbage? just like rotting cabbage. Like I can't. I feel like Bo right now. I it honestly is, feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. Smell like us. It is. It smells exactly the same. Right, and that is like like that. No, usually is related yeah, to wine making fun, but I don't get it. I don't get even the slightest hint of that. What, what have you been eating today? today? Poop. Well, I, have, <laughs> I skipped lunch, so, so I'm like. Could be affecting. Maybe I'm hangry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe always. Like, Matt's hangry. Little. Low. I understand. Mm -hmm. A little more apples again. Definitely less acidity than uh, than this one. This one. This one's listed what. 10% alcohol, so probably a little bit of RS in here. Yeah. Yeah, and that's coming through, I think, a little bit on the nose. It's sort of like got the golden apple thing mm -hmm. going on. Maybe a little bit of the bruised apple, oxidative quality, just a hint of it. I think, honestly, I think it's that, what is it, dimethyl triphosphate? Is the. I don't think it is, is man. The cabbage you thing? totally are bow right now. <laughs> no, it's like, I, don't, I feel so bad because that's like. Tasting that's that's like, oh my god, the previous one was potassium metabisulfite because that's exactly what I smelled. And then this one is like dimethyl triphosphate, of course. All right, so that's fine. Like, yeah, hate station. Which like, we gotta get you a chemist jacket. We gotta get a hate jacket. Man, hate time, sta yeah. yeah, again, I'm just Ooh. channeling Bo, Bo Karufo. Getting a little bit of, uh, getting a little bit of Smarties on the nose here, too. A little bit. A little candy. Yeah, I get that. Uh, uh, other, other not so much, though. Sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, man. Golden apples. Yeah. A little brightness, a little bit of melon. That's the texture I love. Definitely a little bit of RS in there, right? A little bit of roundness, a little bit of richness to counteract that acidity that really shoots down the middle of the palate. Like. Yeah, the acidity is really high on this one, too. Like, really high. Maybe I'm The texture is wonderful. The texture is really good. This one, it tastes a lot better than it smells. Right. Like, it only smells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this has the thing that I, I, I love with a lot of German Rieslings, we're kind of late on the palate too, you get this little pure burst of like apple and like just really young stone fruit. Yeah, I say pe like peaches, apricots. Great depth on the back end uh, with, for something, you know, at this price point at the entry level, it's, it's really interesting, I think. Yeah, this, the palate like totally just wins this back. I honestly, it's one of those wines I can't stand the smell of it. It's weird, but huh. it tastes so good. So like, good. I would just pound this, just not, don't want to smell it. God, it's so refreshing. Yeah. Right, totally that, that, that high acidity. Yeah. Especially on a hot ass day like today, oh, it's man. perfect. So. And it, and it feels, it, it's a, the acidity really keeps it bright. That as it starts to develop that complexity and richness in the mid palate, I kind of wait for it to get a little heavy, kind of go in the like thicker, straight lazy direction, and then Not it just all. doesn't. The acidity keeps it in, a little bit of that citrus brightens it up. I love the mm -hmm. lemon rind, like how it just hangs on your tongue, like in the back of your palate for like a little while. Just yeah. keep, it's like still kicking it. But like citrus sour. Yeah, yeah it's like Some the point. zest is just like popping in like the back of your tongue. Yeah, it's awesome. Like the mint palate reminds me very much of like young peaches, and then like as, it's, as you swallow it, it turns sort of sour or tart, but in a very very good way. Like a, yeah, de super delicious. Right, you really. could drink two bottles of this by yourself, right? No problem. Okay. Sit, sit 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 out sit out back at the table. Yeah, no, it's delicious. No, go, go run, go run 10 miles and kill two bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy right after it. So. 
Uh, it's I, a, yeah, that richness though is like it's crazy because it's like you, 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 the first sip you take, you're just like yeah. bam, it just like hits you with that acidity like the first one almost. But the first one just keeps going and it doesn't really score do much. Oh jeez. No. Well, that's okay. Keep going. Uh, yeah, it. The first one, it gets like, you, you get the acidity, but it doesn't really like fill out. But this one, that acidity hits you with that same intensity. But then it just calms out into this like luscious, like lemon cream pie and then finishes with like spritzes of zest. Agreed. It's, yeah. I, it's, it's Agreed. Smoking. Tastes good. Um, and people talk, something, something I read a lot is I, I read what other people write is, and, and I think as, as you get old, older, you, you like to you like to do this. I'm sure we'll do it in another 20 years. You talk about how wines today just aren't the same as they were 20 years ago, right? And I'm sure you've heard people rant about how Cabinet today just isn't like the way Cabinet was. Um, I imagine that this is what Cabinet used to be like. When you talk about it, it was like it's like light, crisp, acidity, zesty. zesty. Like I there's, there is RS in this. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like it's completely felt, but like yeah. I can't imagine somebody critiquing this for being overripe or too fat, yeah. though, right? Do you think maybe that those people that make those criticisms just lose their palate as they go? Um, <laughs> no, I, I think they are honestly complaining that that, that, that there has been a drift yeah. in more sweetness, yeah, right? Like yeah, but even in our time drinking, I think yeah. we've noticed that. Um, 2013 is an exception. As well, as it well, is. Right? And that's I was having that conversation with somebody else, but like yeah, everything's just too sweet. Yeah. Like yeah, if you buy 12s, which got all the hype. They're heavy. They're a big ripe wine. If you, big, if, you, ripe wine. if you miss that Christmas, right by the cabinets and Spätlis and the QBAs from 2013. By 13. Yeah. The 13s, they're going to be big on PBAs and BAs too. Right? I think there'll be some of that, yeah. And, and, and the riper levels are definitely sweet and heavy and, and, and don't play into this argument. But if you if you point. miss the more reserved levels, right, but, by 13. It was crazy because I was, I was there in 13, when, right, right before harvest. And I remember like everybody being so worried about it. Mm -hmm. Like it was just the storms were crazy. The weather was so unpredictable. Yeah, yeah. Storms were hitting. Like people were losing grapes to birds at first. And then it just started like the rain just started pouring. And everybody's like no idea what the hell is going to happen. But this is awesome. Right. And like I'm really excited actually for the TBAs and the BAs. That's going to be. Yeah. Or even. Yeah. When Dan, well, just like when we did the, the, the show with the blind Riesling. Yep. And you named, like, you actually named 2013 Nye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That was a good show. But, like, that Don Hoff should show you why 13 will be delicious. Yeah. Like, that was, that was their, that was the, of the, their entire spectrum of wine, their lowest wine, and it was. It's still great. Yeah, 18 bucks, right? right? Something uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like 20. But, yes, it was, it was solid. Amazing. So, so our last wine. We well, actually, let's, let's go to the story. Oh, okay. So, I, I'm, I'm uh, 88. Is this for me? Yeah, I'll go 88 too. Like, I want to go a little bit lower after tasting this wine because I would have gone. Oh, it's like 88 points. This is like 89 to 90 points for me. Like, this is the texture here is just wonderful. So, yeah, 75 on the first one for me. I just sure. didn't get past it. Oh, so bitch. I yeah, I was not. It's all right. The second one, like, I'm probably gonna put it at like 86 just because like the nose. I'm hoping it blows off. I don't know if it will. It might. Yeah. But like the palate, like completely redeems. See the, the nose is like. I see the problem with the nose. Yeah. 91 for me. Get yourself a bottle. I'm really Shit's feeling. Delish. It. Yep. What are you doing, Abe? And I love supporting them too. Right, being being new folks to the game. It's great to see them successful and get some credit for the uh, for the good stuff that they do. So this is the same producer, but nope, this is different producer. Oh. Totally They're different. Same importer. Same importer. All these are from the same importer. Oh, we'll show that on the back. Here. Von Bowden. We'll take a photograph. Scott Frank, I know, hustles this wine. Uh, and so nice for bringing it around. Um, yeah. So this is this is the, the barrel X, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, barrel X from wine to Peter Lauer. Uh, if, if you missed the interview we did with Florian uh last year you should get online check that out it's one of the what you know one of one of the best shows we've done right all, 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 all <laughs> out of our entire history did you do that on purpose that's that? making a mess no just missing but this is one of his entry level bottles so uh so i was excited to check it out and 2014 i think <sighs> i think this is the first 2014 recently i've had hate the nose nice. again yeah the, no, no no i don't hate the nose it's oh, just okay. the sulfites on it right now are crazy. sure yeah it's super young you like that juice you like that juice buddy give it a sniff <laughs> No? No. Yeah, it always smells. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. All right. So, do you know anything about 2014 as opposed to 2013 oh, for Germany? Very, I, I can't remark intelligently about it. I mean, I guess, yeah. Uh, Vintage-wise, no. Yeah. Was it more like 2012? Was it more like... 12 is like the next oh, year. Yeah, yeah. 12, 12 got a ton of hype, so yeah. I'm, I'm well, guessing it's kind of, of middle. But like, if you look at... I think range. 10 was the vintage of the century. And I love it. I, I'm with you on that. Um, I also feel that way about Oregon. I love, 12 is ripe, man. I love 10, but so I think ripe. 12s are going to be the ones that you like take to the grave with you because they're going to sit forever. Like I, I love 10. 
Ten, yeah. Don't get me wrong, ten is awesome, but then I tried twelve, and I was I just hope, like, oh my I hope I hope I drink you. I hope I drink with you. Yeah, yeah, in for the years. for the next yes. thirty or forty years. Yeah. Taste those to see if they're actually yeah. test, well, let's, test the time. What I'm stoked about is I have a bottle of 2010 GG Donhoff, a Magnum. Yeah. Okay. Magnum of that. And then I also have a 2012 GK from Prune. Nice. Magnum. Oh. Stacking those baseball bats. That's good. So that would be a cool <laughs> thing to drink in like 30 years. Those yeah, baseball yeah. bats. Hell yeah. yeah. If you've never seen a Magnum of uh, German wine, German Riesling, you could literally club someone to death. <laughs> they are... Yeah. yeah, they're long. They're, they're, like, long. they're big. Tough yeah. to ship. You got to be committed to it to bring them back. If that's what you want to do. Tough, tough to commit. Like, you have to commit to, to storing them. Anyway, so let's let's talk about the Zara yeah, 2014 Wine Pete Lauer It smells, smells so Zari too. Like once you get once the sulfide's <laughs> off, like you get that like that same like mustiness. Now you're talking about trash tonight. No, no, I, 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 no, 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 no. So this isn't something that's crossed my mind before. Right. You feel that there's there's a characteristic czar. Yeah, like I mean, in the czar itself is like there's something about it. It's just it gets more of this mustiness that comes through in a lot of ways. So it's like it's like like almost like a dirty must hmm. in a good way, right? Whereas like you know the traditional Mosul Mosul is just like much more of the petrol coming through. Like this is just like more funky and dirty. Hmm. Again, the sulfites are like, are still there for me because I don't know why I just smell sure. Well, it's young wine. I mean, they're not, and, and there's a. There's typically a lot, lot in right young, young reason. Well, reason in general. But underneath it, that smells really good. Like I love that like earthiness. A little more like young pears as opposed to apples in the previous two, I think. Yeah, this is less apple fruit. It's more um, reminding of like, the honeydew sort of thing, maybe orange melon, cantaloupe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ice. You guys don't get the dirtiness reality. and the mustiness. It's awesome. Man, Boy, with like, the suggestion, I can kind of get it. I would never go there. Though. Yeah, what the problem with me is like, like the nose for me. Like wines like this, the, the the fruitiness is what initially sticks out, and like, okay, I don't get as much time on it. The thing is, I don't have a flavor or a memory to attach to this mm -hmm. flavor that you're describing. Think about like, so think about like the that dirtiness that like Dundee Hills gives in Pinot. Again, completely different wine, but think of that that quality just slightly coming through. Yeah, you know, maybe like a like a moldiness or yeah. something. Yeah, like a like a like a like yeah, a, it's like, like musty. A, like, like an old basement. Okay. Or old books. Okay. Yes, like old, old base, like, like a base, like definitely like a dank basement. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Like, like a hint of that. Just a hint of that, yeah. But that's like, I've seen that in a lot of Zara wines. Like, and, I, and it's very okay. like characteristic of it. In my I get it in, a, in, a, in some Mosul wines from time to time too. Yeah. Uh, but I think like we talk about like, if, if, you, if you open a Riesling and the cork looks terrible, um, open it anyway. It's probably if you, fine. If you tear the right? capsule. Yeah, and it looks terrible. And it's probably of fine. on top, yeah. Yeah, I could just be smoking crack today because this is like the day, the first time I think I'm way You're off from you guys today. Right <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're holding on. No, don't. don't. Maybe I'm just, I'm just off today. So, <coughs> sorry. Not good for breathing. That tastes right. fucking delicious though. Dude. Ten and a half alcohol. So this is the the lowest alcohol. Of all. Oh no, is this ten? The vanilla that it's pops through on that one—it's like peaches and cream, straight up, just like. It's like peach pie. It's super delicate wow. too. This is this is definitely like we talk about reasoning with spicy food. I think if you were eating like burn up stuff with this, you'd miss a lot of the cool things that are going on. Feel the burn. Agreed. This is at I the same time I think this would be a wonderful accompaniment to, to hot food. Mm. Oh yeah, because this has like it definitely has some residual sugar. A little bit, right? right? Yeah, but it's not got a ton. Acid to back it up. Good, I don't, texturally wise, it's a little downgrade from the wine we tasted before. Right? Yeah, um, but. Wonderful fruit flavors. The complexity in it is like way more than this one. I think. Very good. Yes. Like and it's yeah. I, I'm feeling the shit out of this one. It's really different. I'm, I'm getting like a like the mid palate. I, I think the, the fruit shows up kind of like a little appley, but more more like pears for me. A little bit of stone fruit too kind of shows up. Really hangs out, and the acidity also kind of just settles into the back of the palate. And, and and to me, it's a little more static. There isn't yeah. quite the evolution I'm seeing in the previous one. Mm -hmm. um, but the flavors are a lot more delicate and kind of, uh, despite its youth, they're kind of mingled together pretty well already, which, which is surprising to me. I just get that like slight hint of like vanilla, just slight vanilla coming through, and it's like it just rounds it out perfectly. So, so for for me, this this wine almost has too much acid. What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Even more like you think that has more than that one? Absolutely. Like mm. as, as I as I rinse my, as I rinse my palate, I like so I like like really get it in my mouth and swish it around. And swallow it, I get like acid burn. Even like when I just coughed, 
Mm-hmm. Just because I had my nose in the glass too far and I smelled it and like the acid mm-hmm. actually made me cough. That wasn't no. That's that's the sulfites guaranteed. Think so. That's a, that's a characteristic of sulfites because like it is. Maybe it's a sulfite issue. If you really smell it, like it's it's one of those things. So backstory on this. One time I had some sulfites and I opened a bag for the first time and this dust just popped in front of me. So it was a potassium metabisulfite. sulfite and I inhaled just the tiniest bit and I could not stop coughing for like an hour. So be care, kids, be careful with sulfites. <laughs> right. Well, and, and you know, in these young Riesling, it's typical that they're hit pretty hard with that to stabilize them. It, like, I mean, it's that's definitely going to throw the nose. For yeah. Sure. Like, and, and the good news is though, it, the, the good news is though, yeah. it blows off. Right. These are all pop and pour right before we started the show. Yeah. Um, you give this stuff. You give this stuff thirty minutes to an hour open. Well, this is another character. It, so right you see that professionals kind of comes through. That's a common thing of like very sulfited like. Sure. Units that young fresh yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I would agree with them. I would agree with Matt and Dan as a, like saying that this has it, it's it's good and complex, right? It's got it's got really good flavors. However, I prefer this wine just based simply on texture. Um, I think this wine like it, it tastes nice, but it's just uh, a little clunky currently. Like it doesn't it, it's got a little some hollow spots. I feel like these city's a little harsher than the, than the previous than than this one even. Like I don't know if I'd say that there's more, um, but I think it's. Uh, it's, it's got a little rougher edge to it. Correct. Um, and, and I'm not sure what drives that. Uh, but, uh, but you know. No way, man. No? Drink that one again. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I love this one. This it's one good. Well, at least, yeah, it's nice that if, if, yeah, that at least you're not hating on yeah, everything, not just right? Hating yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, it's, so, take a sip. 80, 86 points on this one for me. 89. I really dig this one a lot. I think, nice. like, once the sulfites calm Smoking. down a bit... You did smoke some crack. <laughs> yeah. Once the sulfites calm down a bit, I think it's going to really start to shine, probably push it in the 90-91 territory, but 89. This sure. Is awesome. And this is super entry-level stuff, right? Like, he's got, you know, what, all, like, like, dozens of bottles, right? Running, running, as much as you want to spend, kind of running. Yeah, but at the same point, like, he, he puts, he pours some love into this wine. Like, I have had, great, like, uh, previous vintages of this wine have been... Fantastic. Yeah. And I think this is actually still a very good wine. I totally. would totally this recommend you buy it, you try it. Obviously, it's complex, it's really delicious, it's fun to drink. It is a little tight still, but it will, I, I think it's I good. totally agree. And it's I think that's a stylistic thing, too. Like, he leans a little dry over his whole portfolio. He leans a little to the austere side, I think. Um, and, and also leans towards something that'll, that'll age a little bit. Are you going to tell me that's more, that's less acidic than that's that? Less, to no. me, that's less no. acidic. No. To me, that's less acidic. <laughs> I want to get like an, a, like whatever the fucking meter is that measures acidity and just bust a it out. A pH, right me a pH yeah, strip. I'll just bring it. I actually more. I have yeah. one outside. And you have pH strips? Yeah. We'll be right <laughs> back. <laughs> one drop of solution four and swirl to mix. One drop of solution two. Here, kitten. We need something to break this up. Don't eat the chemicals. Oh, okay, here's how you do it. Okay. Better, better limit the chemistry. So what are you doing? So we so, so, just leave the cat on the table. Right. So fill this to the top part. Okay, so this is the first one. Yeah. And I'm gonna do it side Point by side. One. <laughs> over the right. table. I'm you sure you haven't been drinking today? Pull my chest now. I haven't had right, Pete. Okay. First one. There you go. Sample. Okay. Sample number one. Sample number two one, and then. Yeah, we're only worried about these two. Okay. So. I don't even know if this is gonna work. This we're sciencing. So, this is a pool test right here, by the way. Just show you guys. Oh, know. for the hot tub? Yeah, for the yeah. Hot tub. All right. And so what I'm going to do is because the pH reading is probably going to be so it's pr- these are probably more acidic than pool. Already, I right? I expect so. And so what we not need that to I do, wouldn't bathe in Riesling. Yeah, but. not that I wouldn't either. Yeah, that would be yeah. great. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to see which one is actually lighter in color after sure. you add the pH to it. Hopefully, it's and that's what's going to work. So basically, the one that is lighter is going to be the one that is more acidic. I can't imagine there's going to be a full point of pH between them, but. Uh... We'll find out. I hope it's obvious. Oh. Okay. Nothing's and then, happening. no, you have to add the other one, too. Oh, this is okay. the coloring one. Then you add five drops. So the one that's lighter is the one with the higher pH? Yeah. Or the lower pH. The lower pH. pH. Yeah, more, more acid. Yeah. Careful with these drops. Oh, there we nice. go. Five. Nice gold. It looks like an off place now. Oh, it looks delicious. Well, that was not even changing color. Matt, that's 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 not looking good for you. Uh, <laughs> you're wrong. Oh, oh, they're colored up a little bit. Oh, see? Uh, I don't think you can tell. You have white paper? 
There's a plate, big white plate right There's there. There's a big white plate. Just set them on top of the white plate. Just set them that on is lighter. Side. That is fucking lighter. No. Well, shit. I don't think you can tell. You can totally tell. This no, one's... you can't. They're the same goddamn color. All right, so we're just gonna let this go. We'll let you decide. We'll take a still photo of this just so the viewers. I'll take can a photograph of it. No, we'll have a look just as they are. That's fine. Um, I, I, because realistically, right, the, the way you can perceive it, I, I bet there's not a full point of pH between the two, and I'm sure this test is meant to meant to detect far greater a far greater range. It's right? meant for jacuzzis. Right. I mean, not so, it's actually kind of cool though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun to try. It, this is definitely not something you see on a lot of wine shows. So. <laughs> um, it's thanks. basically a dick waving contest. It's all right. Jacuzzi wine it's all pH right. test. Here, John we'll, Grosh, I'll be proud. We'll, we'll, we'll drink a little more of this. Uh, the scores? How, how'd you feel on this? Did we smart already? I think Matt did. You 88, said, 90, 86. You said 91. 85. No, you said 89? Right? I said 75, 86, 89. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is an 88 for me for different reasons. So I, I feel about the same on these two. But this they definitely take up different roles. Okay, um, question of the day. Yeah, yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Which one is lighter? Nice. That is definitely what I want to hear. Give comments on that. Which one no, is lighter? No, we'll take a still photo so everybody's got a really good chance to evaluate this. You can't... I mean, you now now we need to get, like, take a perfect photo and then, like, we can put it in Photoshop, probably, and, and split oh, it out, yeah, right? Yeah, start, like, stretching. We could oh, analyze, we could analyze the, the image, right? Out. We could yeah. analyze the image. Yeah. Right. Maybe we'll do that, maybe not. Thanks for watching. I can't wait till next week. See you guys next time.